Don't think I'm not doing this during happy hour. Come on. Hopefully you are too. Cheers. Insert my theme song here. Woof! Hello my sweet internet friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be giving you guys a tutorial on how I got my hair to kind of grow. Please note, I am not a guru, I am not a doctor, I am certainly not a hairdresser. I'm just like a normal ass bitch who just wants to look like everyone else without having to have extensions anymore. And by everyone else, I mean all the girls on Instagram who obviously have extensions and use filters. <laughs> so that's realistic. I'm really interested in these lifestyle type videos, but I want to present you with a realistic version of them. Because let's be honest, we can't all afford all the things that our idols are presenting us with, and most of us don't even have t time to do it. Do you know how long it would take to get my extensions done every two months? The only plus side is that they had great coffee and champagne at the salon, but besides that, it was kind of torturous. So I went on Twitter and presented you guys with a few different lifestyle type video ideas and I wanted to see which you wanted to see and of course the majority of you picked a low budget bathing suit try on haul video and I am so sorry I was totally gonna do it for you I have all the bathing suits there but then I got my period and the idea of trying on bathing suits on camera right now is actually horrifying. So thank you for standing by my side and accepting the fact that all of us are insecure once in a while and I promise that I will make that video for next week. But for now, I will give you some tips and tricks on how I got my hair to grow and how I will continue to treat it so it will get longer and luscious and more full, hopefully. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that for the majority of my time here online, I have had very long hair. And as I'm assuming most of you probably knew it was all fake. Now, luckily I have an amazing hairdresser who also happens to be a good friend, Megan Titus. I will leave her information below. You can follow her on Instagram. She does a great job. Um, and her putting in my extensions actually did not ruin my hair, thankfully. I know a lot of people get really poor extensions done and it like literally leaves bald spots. She was very, like very careful about it and even if there was like one pull, she'd be like, you need to take a break. So I'm grateful for her for that respect. And actually my hair has grown significantly since I started with her. And since I started with some products that I am going to show you. Now again, I am not a professional. This is all like trial and error and this is what works for me. Something different might totally work for you, but you clicked on the video, you're interested. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Okay, so there has been times throughout those years when I did have the long hair that I would take the extensions out and you could see my real hair on camera. Now, people seem to really respond nicely to it and I feel like I was able to like set it up okay to look good on camera, but I was really unhappy with it because it was so, so, so thin, especially these front parts. And I still have a lot of ways to go, but this is the most full that my hair has ever, ever been. And this is probably the longest I've kept the extensions out and have felt comfortable with it. So first tip right off the bat is stop doing like the hardcore bleach. There was a time in my life where I had like bright white hair because I was like, well, if I'm gonna not wear my extensions, that would at least be like cute and hip. One, it was really hard to keep up and two, I think it kind of like broke my hair. So I really try if I go to get highlights done, I only do it like every other time when I go to get my hair done. Like usually I'll just do a base which isn't tough on your hair. I don't know the science behind this, but I'll like do the highlights every other time. And I haven't done a full highlight in a really long time. So usually just do like the top. So that definitely helps. And also I know it sounds counterintuitive, but actually trimming your hair helps it grow. I don't understand the science behind it. It sounds so stupid, but apparently it does. So like, even though you don't wanna get a trim because you're like, I'm letting it grow, it's better to do that. Okay, so let's get into the products on how I got my hair longer and thicker. And then we'll also hit up some products that actually just make your hair look thicker, even if it's not. So I'm gonna start with supplements. Again, consult a doctor. I am not a doctor, I have no idea what I'm talking about all I know is what I have learned through my doctors and over time and late night Google searching <laughs> which don't do it always says you're dying everyone probably knows biotin you've heard this word this is one of those keywords they use it in those like hair gummy bear sugar hair bear things 
Sugar Hair Bear, I made a whole video about it. They're not bad, it's just packed with other stuff like actual sugar, like there's better ways to get the good stuff to make your hair grow like this. This is just straight up biotin. Earmuffs if you have a sensitive soul or sensitive stomach. But this shit makes me shit. <laughs> like literally, I had to stop taking this because I was like, it was bad. Like this does not settle well with my stomach. So I took a break from it. So I can't actually endorse biotin because I can only do like a few of them before I was like, okay, we're good. I'll let my hair be thin and short for the moment. But now that like my stomach is like feeling better, I might try it one more time and see if I can stomach it. Uh, because apparently biotin is so good for your hair and nail growth. If you're gonna do it, again, not a doctor. Um, I would just like make sure it's like an organic or non-GMO. Cause they, guys, they put so much crap in stuff that you don't need in your body. So, you know, do a little research, go on Amazon, that's where I got this. To be honest, I think the supplements that actually help me are an adrenal support supplement. Again, not a doctor, not a scientist, was really bad in science class, but adrenals are the things that sort of like keep your body moving and keep you energized and I think in turn that like helps things like grow and move nicely that's not a fact I just assumed but um so I take two different adrenal like support kind of things <laughs> scientific um you guys are like why am I watching this again I'm a, just a down home bitch I'm trying my best let's be realistic here not sponsored by any of this but I mean look guys results Okay, so I go to this like hippy dippy doctor who has like his name on everything. So you can't like just buy these on the internet, but you can buy adrenal support. Look it up, research it yourself. They sell it on Amazon. Um, it just helps your whole body sort of like keep moving. Like, you know when you drink so much coffee that at some point like coffee doesn't work for you anymore? Your adrenals are probably drained. So if you're tired and sluggish and you literally can't move, how do you think the follicles on your head are going to move? I'm a genius. <laughs> Look into adrenal support. Okay, that's it for supplements because again, I don't really know much, but I do kind of think that that has helped significantly. But let's talk about some products you can buy if you want to spend the money. Nobody likes to spend money. Even though it seems like it's fun to spend money, it's definitely not fun. But I do actually think that all of these products have significantly helped my hair. Let's start with like shampoo and conditioner because that's stuff that you use, especially with like short, super fine hair. Like my hair is like super fine. Um, I have to wash my hair like every couple of days. Otherwise it's just like an oily mess if I want to wear it down. If I wear it up, it doesn't matter. I get it so oily and no one can tell because I twist it and turn it and whatever. I have become obsessed with Kevin Murphy products. I've talked about it before. I do think they're a little little bit pricey, but not compared to a lot of the other products out on the marketplace. I also don't know exactly where you can get these. I'm guessing you can buy them online. I buy them at the salon. It's like a Kevin Murphy salon where I go. But what I like about these products is it doesn't have any parabens or any of the bad stuff in it. And I feel like we don't really know what parabens and like sulfites and all that stuff do to your hair, but I'm guessing like the more junk in your hair, the less likely it is to like grow. It needs like room to grow, girl. You know what I mean? So I like that these products are pretty clean in the grand scheme of products. Um, and Megan, my hairdresser, suggested that I use the pink one, which is the plumping wash and the plumping rinse. And I've been using this for a while now and I feel like, I feel a little plump. And not just because I ate too much last night. I feel like these are good products. But then she taught me a little something. Let's be real for a second. I get dandruff and not like, I don't think it's typical dandruff. I just get, I actually think it's eczema. I get it sometimes here on the sides. It gets like dry and crusty and it's like super embarrassing. Um, and sometimes a little bit back here. Also because I've been using more product, I feel like even after I wash my hair, it like still feels like there's product in it. So she turned me on to this product. It's the Maxi Wash. It's a detox shampoo. And the theory behind this is, Every single time you wash your hair, do it once with this and then once with your regular one 
and by doing so you are like getting rid of all the junk and so your hair is able to then take on the other one. So like get rid of the junk, then put in the plump. Junk, plump, junk, plump, plump junk, that's another video. So I just started using this and I'm hoping it's gonna like clarify my scalp and get rid of all that stuff and also help my hair plump. And Megan took her extensions out and she's been using this and I noticed that her hair looks a lot fuller and a lot longer and she like swears by this. So I'm excited to keep on this path. Kevin Murphy, you're expensive, so if you wanna sponsor me, please do. So I know, I feel like there's certain things that I'm okay with spending like a decent amount of money on and like for me, one of my insecurities is definitely my hair. Let's get serious for a second. I always felt like longer, fuller hair made me look skinnier, made my arms look skinnier and it probably does. Um, and that's just like my own personal issue that I'm trying to like work through. Um, my hair is definitely my crutch. So to me, spending money on like hair products that I know are good. It's not like trying a million to bajillion things. It's like, no, I stick to this routine. I feel comfortable and okay spending the money on this as opposed to like spending a bunch on products I'm not sure of, just in hopes that it'll grow. Um, so it makes me more comfortable. But again, that's to your own discretion. You don't have to use these products to get your hair to grow. It's just this idea that there's like a clarifying shampoo and then a plumping shampoo. So you can go on Amazon or do your research or even go to Rite Aid and try to find something comparable to that. Um, but this is what I use. I mean, this was $28, which is a lot. That is a lot in the grand scheme, but also you don't need that much of it. So you decide how you wanna go about this, but that's our serious moment. Okay, back to the fun moments. What is this video, by the way? <laughs> Schwartz the beauty guru. Let's talk about when you get out of the shower. I have never been a big like product user. I didn't understand it, but again, I had extensions and you don't really need products, so the extensions are just sort of there, and no matter what, they look cute because they're long and full and you look like an Instagram model. But I have found some after shower products that have helped me with my hair that I'm going to now present to you. First of all, I use this every time I get out of the shower. It is ke another Kevin Murphy product. It's called the Body Mass. It's a leave-in plumping conditioning treatment. So when you get out of the shower, your hair is wet, you brush it out, and then you sort of part it, and you kind of like put it all around on the base of your scalp and kind of push it in, and then you pray that your hair grows. It literally says, and then you pray that your hair grows. I don't know if it works, but again, my hair has been a lot fuller lately, so I'm going with it. I'm sticking with it. Next, after I do that, I always use tried and true Moroccan oil. This stuff is fucking expensive. I'm not even gonna lie, this shit is expensive, but you don't need that much and it literally lasts forever. Like I usually just do three pumps and then I rub it in and I put it here and mostly in the back, especially when I did have extensions because they would get so like ratted. But I feel like this helps keep my hair hydrated, especially if I'm using a lot of heat on it. I do do this religiously. And then this is so unnecessary, but Megan gave it to me, so I use it. It's the Living Proof Restore Instant Repair. And she told me to use this on my ends, so I just do like a tiny, tiny, like penny size, rub it in my little paws and put it on my ends. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Why are you watching this? Um, no, I don't know like which of it is working. Like, I feel like I could take one product out and like play around that way, but right now it's working, so I'm just kind of like doing it. But again, like watch your budget. You don't need to use all of this, but get the general idea. I do think of out of all three of those like after shower products, I would suggest an oil. It just helps keep your hair hydrated, and to me, that's the most important. Last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, if all this shit don't work and your hair is thin as fuck. First of all, they have clip-in extensions. Secondly, hats. Thirdly, learned how to French braid recently. Fourthly, love a bobby pin, pin it back, makes it just look like that's a style. But lastly, if you want to invest in a product, of all the products on the marketplace, dry shampoo, hairsprays, oils, this is the one. I love you so much. Guys, this is Kevin Murphy again. Please, does Kevin Murphy do sponsorships? Hit them up. I want a box. This is the bedroom hair and it's called a flexible texturizing hairspray. Oh, I didn't know it was a hairspray. 
First of all, his stuff smells so freaking good. But this one, just like, I wouldn't call it a hair, <laughs> look at that. But like, look at that, you know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't call it a hairspray because I don't feel like it gets like wispies, but it like adds volume instantly. And for someone with such, such, such fine hair and such little hair, this is a savior and it smells good and it's called bedroom hair and you feel sexy. They have them in travel sizes too, so what I like about Kevin Murphy is you can try a travel size and then see if you like the product before you like spend all this money on it. But this, I swear by, if you don't wanna do any of this other stuff and if you're like, I can't, I just don't have the time, I don't have the patience, I don't have the money, just get this and fake the fact that you have long hair. It is cheaper than extensions. I hope that you guys enjoy this and that it helped you out a little bit in one way or another. Listen, I'm sure your hair is perfect as is. That's the more of all these like lifestyle, beauty, fashion videos. Like, I don't want to make things that make you feel like you have to do this stuff, right? I like want to do a video about reducing cellulite and someone was so offended by that. It's not that you need to do that. You're beautiful the way you are, and truthfully, nothing is going to actually reduce it completely. But if it makes you more comfortable, if it makes you more confident, if it makes you feel more free, then do it. This helps me, and so it's worth it to me. So hopefully there's something in here that makes you feel good about yourself. Maybe you've been wearing extensions for all those years too, and you weren't confident enough to take them out. I just want to give you the confidence to use what you have Enhance what you have and enjoy what you have. Oh girl, call Oprah, I want her job. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching you guys, I love you. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that bell. I'm gonna start doing more of these lifestyle videos. It's fun for me, I enjoy it, and I think and hope that you guys enjoy it. And if you do, give this video a thumbs up so that I know that you do. And uh, look out for that bikini video, it's coming at some point. And we will all enjoy it and or make fun of it, whatever. <laughs> I'm here to entertain you. See you next time. Love you. Bye.